Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do something that's really fun, something we've never done before. It's going to be a little water lily sitting in a pond, probably do a whole bunch of them. And of course, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get started. We'll start off today here with a beautiful soft pink and orange color. And you see I've got a little pink, got a little orange. I'm just using both here to, to block in our little water lily. Now, as you can see, I've already been, already had a little bit of a a little bit of weird spot here. See, I've got, I started out just too small. And it, it really, it, I'm actually working from a photo, a photo that we took here not too long ago. So anyways, but I'm working from this photo and I actually had to take my fingers and figure out the scale according to the length of the actual painting and the photo. See that? So I like took, I took my fingers and I did this. Okay, this petal is six, you know, six of those petals equal the width of the bottom of the canvas. So that's the way I did that. <laughs> because look, I've had that, so it's starting to do it too small. So I got to figure out how to kind of go over that bit, but oh well, right? <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to really increase the scale of these leaves, the size, or petals. I'm sorry, we're not painting leaves. <laughs> what happens when a landscape painter starts doing flowers? Things get a little weird, so <laughs> there you go. All right, now I've played with this for just a few more minutes and I've got the shape where I like it. I had to take it down a bit and bring it in a little just to, to make sure that the profile is good. I really don't care too much about the middle, but okay, there we go. Let's slide over here and start painting in some, start painting in some, some more little water lilies. All right, now these ones are gonna be way easier because look, you just use the little corner of the brush and oh, there's one. See how that goes? Uh, it doesn't matter. Now, the thing about this is if you were to wait and do this later, it'd be pretty tough because I'm gonna, gonna go and put a lot of dark in this painting. Okay, now it looks like it stops there, but it actually stops right about here. So, you know, maybe right here, I want a little lily thing sticking in. Good. And we can make these pretty later. I don't care about that. I'm just worried about getting the color in there so that it don't go muddy by painting accidentally inside there with dark. You don't want to make them muddy. <laughs> we want to have a pretty area. Okay, good. And you know, there's a nice profile, but these are sitting on water, so there. I can always change them and I can always erase some if I don't like them, but there. Maybe make a stronger one there. We may take that one out, I don't know. <laughs> now this is the part where you don't follow photos because you got to figure out what's going to look good in the art. So there's more than I want. I'll probably take some out. Now let's go ahead and Jump to a filbert brush. <laughs> take a little bit of black, take a little bit of blue and green. We're gonna paint the trees behind. From here basically down to, oh, here-ish, is gonna be trees, and then this is gonna be also paint underpainted in black, but we're gonna make it water. There, I do have a little bit of clear gel up here to make everything slide along a little better. Down here though, there is a touch of clear, there's not much. There. Now I'll load up our little three quarter brush with a nice soft green color. And as you can see, I've done just a little bit of cutting around the big flower and then I cut around very carefully those flowers. So we're all set and ready for the next, the next step here. So, okay, let's paint in some, some of our little lily pads and it's going to be, well, <laughs> it's going to be a little bit of experimenting. So let's just, let's just start throwing paint on the canvas. Cause what else can you do? Right? Gotta start somewhere. Hmm. Okay, I'm just looking around at this. I'm gonna, this is mixing a lot, isn't it? I'm gonna mix around up here at the top and then I gotta stop and wipe down the canvas. It's just too wet. There. I'll use up, I use up a whole tube of paint trying to cover the foreground. In the background, I really could care less how mixy it is, it's fine. Good, super, super impressionistic in this background. All I'm worried about is light and dark pockets. All right, I'm gonna wipe the canvas and I'll be right back. <laughs> Next, I'll load up with, an, with a lighter mix here of the same green color. And I went ahead and wiped down this area with a paper towel. Watch this, watch this, the amazing difference. Let's, let's go ahead and say the light's coming across not from the left, but kind of from the back, but a little bit from the left. So our shadows will be like that. Okay, now that that's established, <laughs> let's just drop in. Oh, look how much better that works. See, 
I tell my students all the time that paint, the paint on the canvas is your enemy. Put as little on as you can. People want to glob it on as if, as if it takes a whole tube. But no, limit the amount of paint and your life will be so much better. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna work impressionistic, loose. Now over here, however, let's think about a large, large, this is mostly lily pads down here. You know, there's a large one right there. I'm gonna kind of just block it in. I'll figure out the highlights on it in a minute. I just wanna get them blocked in. There, I'm gonna be very careful. I didn't wipe this area, so I don't know if it'll mix too much or not. Yeah, it's mixing a little more than it was, but that's fine. I'm gonna cut right into the flower. Obviously, look, we're gonna have to do a little repair work. And that's fine. You can't be just, you can't be so tight. You gotta be loose, even if you're gonna go around the flower. You gotta be loose. Otherwise, it just gets crazy. Okay, actually, right here, I'll tell you what. Oh, yeah. Make a lip there. Oh, that's cool. We're gonna work with that. Our three quarter brushes are gonna get a workout today. <laughs> there you go. Good. And like I said, that's just kind of blocking it in. We need dark, so let me show you how you can pop your darks back in. I'm gonna go ahead and place this dark right here. A little bit of dark. See that? Nice. That's how you play around. <laughs> Have fun. Okay, I'm gonna do this over and over and over again until we're done. It shouldn't take me that long. You can see they're going in pretty quick. Next, I'll load up our three-quarter brush with a very soft, clean pink color. No, no green or anything worked into it. Okay, our light's like this. Let's go ahead and figure out just a couple of these petals. Now, we're gonna need to do a lot of shadows, a lot of cast shadows, a lot of dark shadows, and a lot of extra highlights. This is just, just the beginning. I needed to get that out of the way because it's not gonna look finished. It takes a lot of steps to do flowers like this. You can't just hit it once and hope that it's going to be done. It's, it'll look just too incomplete. Flowers are, especially this close, are so detailed. And you're going to have to get out your detail round. And there's going to be a lot to do. So, But you got to start somewhere. So these are going to be the highlights. These are the highlights. And I'm just sort of, there, <laughs> just sort of reloading, keeping my brush fresh, clean, because it'll go dirty fast, real fast. Uh, let's see here, maybe I've got this petal sort of sticking out. That's good. Good, good, actually, that's fine, yeah. There we go. Good. Oh yeah. Nice. Make sure you're getting these beautiful petal shapes. Slice one there. Remember, you're gonna have to come back. This is, I'm just gonna keep doing this for a while. Then I'll come right back. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start placing in some of the shadows here on these petals. Let me show you my color. Put a little blue into the red here, a little bit of white, and I got a pretty shadow. All right, now you can take this a little darker later. For now, we're gonna just take it all about this far. Good, see that? This is the way you bend the petals and make them rotate and roll. See that? Does that make sense, right? So it kind of comes out. And obviously you can paint over these. I'm just, you gotta start, you know. Just gotta jump in. Then you make corrections as you go. You can, of course, start with a, with a very detailed sketch of the flower, and I do that when I paint flowers, especially roses. But, you know, there's not as many petals here as there are in a rose. It's not quite as complicated, at least it didn't feel like it, not that I'm any expert. In fact, this is my very first time with water lilies, so <laughs> you get to see my first one. There. So anyways, this is just sort of my, my thought. Obviously, we're all learning here as we go. There we go. I like it. I'm gonna just play around with these shadows. The detail brush seems to be working out pretty well. Now with a very bright yellow, I'm gonna drop in some of these little center areas to the flower. And 
and I'm going to do this a little bit carefully. There we go. A little bit careful. Not too careful because otherwise you'll end up lining them all up. So it looks like you're going to get about one or two of these things before having to reload because there's a lot of paint down. I wouldn't suggest wiping this area unless you have, absolutely have to because I want this to be very bright and shiny. I don't want it dulled down at all. There. And I'm just going to work on this for the next couple minutes. Drop down. And I've got to create a bit, and I may, ne may need to actually raise these up a little. I've got to create a little bit of a center there. There. Yeah, that'll be better. Next, with the three-quarter brush, I'm going to drop in some little... Well, what are these? These are the little bits that connect the flower to the stem. There we go. And some of these, I don't know if these are not... They're just like not open or maybe they're just not that old. I don't know. It doesn't matter. What's important is that the contrast here of these bits of greenery is great. And I like it. See that? See how that works? On the underside. And then as you can see here, I very quickly scrubbed in a few shadows. I don't even know if we're going to keep them all. This one down here especially. I'm thinking I'll get rid of that one. But we'll see. We'll see. And then you sort of just bury it right down into the into the lily pads. Some are some are extended up on little stems and some are not so tall. Some are pretty short. So you gotta figure out which one is which. Just add a few of these. We don't care about seeing all of them. There. And just bury them right there. Very loose. Still being nice and loose. In fact make these blurry in the background. I don't want these to go crazy. Now it's finally time to finish out these little lily pads up here. Now, I'm going to be very, very careful. I'm not a, an expert on painting these, but I want to I want to create a lot of them. This is a whole field of a field in the water, I guess. Of them. <laughs> and and I want to make it seem that way. So the last thing I want to do is get out here and start painting individual lily pads all over the place. That's totally not the objective here today. That would just not be what I want. And I also don't want to go overboard with the light. In fact, I think I was already playing around with this one. I think maybe I took it a hair too far. I may need to lose one, like part of the back edge with another one. I'll play with that and I'll figure it out because <laughs> I can't spend all day working on, you know, you got to move around. Think about it and come back to it. There. So see how that works? Just a, a lot of them are covering each other. Vary your green. You can put a little blue into it. See that? That's pretty. Mm. Don't smooth them out too much. Leave some Leave some of the texture in there. That's cool. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Fun. So, anyways, you get the idea. Just make sure you don't go overboard. Concentrate more of the light in the middle. And don't take away from that beautiful water lily. That turned out. That turned out. I'm actually kind of happy. You know, some, some days things just work. Like I said, that was the first time I've ever done a, a water lily like that, so... I think we should do more. It's a lot of fun. There. Give it a try. If you guys haven't tried one, I think it's worth it. Give it a shot. They're, they're really fun to paint. And it wasn't, it wasn't really that difficult at all. Now I want to show you a quick trick here. I'm going to take just this area, see this, around the flower, and I'm going to take my dark black and green, and I'm going to, number one, I'm going to cut around the petals very nicely. Spend a few minutes doing that, but that's not the trick. <laughs> the trick was, look, I'm going to drift this color, you know, gently over here to mix with the, the lily pads. And coming out from this area is going to be a little bit darker. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website, my DVDs, and also my brush line. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.